everyone. This is Brad from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Dan uh, from Thunderbox uh, Entertainment. Is that right? Uh, that's right. Thunderbox Entertainment. So we are checking out the Sur the Turo app, which we actually uh, kind of learned about last Gen Con. I think it was kind of the first time we uh -huh. heard about it, um, and we've had a chance to stream it a couple times and, and play it quite a bit. But we're here to like get an update on where it is and, and how things are coming. It is super close to being ready. Uh, we're just putting the finishing touches to the multiplayer. Uh, but what I can do is I can walk you through uh, some of the stuff that we're doing to bring Suro to digital. So at Thunderbox Entertainment, we're trying really hard to set a new standard in uh, digital board games. We don't want to do uh, anything that's flat, anything that has you uh, interacting with an interface too much. We really want to recreate the experience of having an actual box product in front of you. So for that reason, and everything is designed uh, around three pillars. The first of which is tactile play. So to, st to start the game, you open the box. So just like you would with a real board game. And then once the box is unpacked, uh, you don't interact with the menu unless it's absolutely necessary. So to start a game, you just drag a piece to a start point and you're good to go. If you want to play multiplayer, drag more pieces. If you want to play against the AI, we have three different uh, levels of AI with different personalities. You can drag it over to an AI zone and the AI will spawn. The, uh, the second pillar that we design around is uh, enhanced. So we want to take a great board game uh, and add a, a little digital magic to it. So with Zero, what we've done uh, is we've added new game modes. Uh, so the first mode is the classic Zero uh, gameplay where you play uh, until you're the last stone left on the board. And we've also got Longest Path, um, which uh, you can beat for the longest path. Pretty self-explanatory. There's no way you could play that in real life unless you had a lot of string and the manual dexterity of a brain surgeon. Uh, so the, fi the final mode is loop battle. Uh, so there you score points uh, by crossing your own path. And this was actually suggested to us by the Suro community, uh, which is like an alternate rule set that uh, core players of Suro like to use. And we've been working super closely with the community to, to test beta versions of the app and to make sure it's a really polished, really fun experience. So again, to start, you don't tap any buttons, you just tap the cards and your hand will be dealt. You can place your card to make a move and then the AI will choose. And the three different personalities work very differently. Silly AI is easy to play against but unpredictable. The clever AI uh, will optimize its strategy based on the game mode to give you a bit more of a challenge. Uh, and then the tricky AI will optimize its game mode. It will look two moves ahead and it will go out of its way to take you off the board. So it will play very aggressively for a real challenge. And here we can tap our tiles to rotate and then we can make a loop. And that's how you score in loop mode. The other mode we've added is a, a solo game where you can play with just one stone to make the longest path possible and then compare your scores with all your friends on Facebook. So uh, there's a social element even if none of your friends are about. So speaking of Facebook, one of the other things we're working on is the online multiplayer. So there's offline multiplayer uh, in the form of pass and play, but we wanted to create something that was uh, frictionless, really easy to use in terms of an online experience. So we, there's no custom sign up, there's no having to find your friends, uh, there's no having to go into a room. If your friends have got the Suro app installed and they're on Facebook, you can invite them just by tapping the envelope and then you get a list of your friends. Now, the Wi-Fi reception in the hall isn't great. I'm not really friends with Bilbo Baggins and Chewbacca. Uh, this is just like an offline demo. I'm sorry, yeah. So, but if we play with Chewbacca, Gandalf the Grey, who else have we got down here? We've got Scotty, he's usually fun. So you select the people you want to play with, you hit begin, you place your stone, set the mode, let's go for classic, why not? And then you just send the move to Chewbacca. Probably let him win because I like my arms where they are. Tap OK. That's it. That's how easy it is to play Zero Online. On the other end of that, when people make their move or they send you a game invite, they'll pop up in your little online slider here. Captain Kirk has sent us a game invite. He wants us to play Longest Path with a couple of his friends. Just accept his invitation. There they are on the board. I'll make my move and send it over. Super, super easy. And so uh, we're just 
putting together the final uh, bits of tech for the online multiplayer, and we're, we're looking forward to testing that in a couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, so if anyone wants to join the beta testing, they can sign up at thunderboxentertainment.com, and hopefully we'll be ready to test very shortly. So once that testing is underway, is there a sort of release window you guys have in mind? I'd like to have the game out in a couple of months. Okay. So it's very, very nearly ready once we've got all the features in. We just need a, a little bit of polish just to make sure the fine details are tuned and then we'll be good to go. So soon. Awesome. And we, you know, we've really enjoyed what we've seen so far. Do you guys have plans for future projects as well? We might do. Um, <laughs> I, yes, we do. I'm going to be cryptic and tease a little bit about it, but if you do play Sura when it's released, there will be a hidden Easter egg to hint at what the next game will be. Okay. So, so keep keep an eye out for that. Awesome. You guys will like it. <laughs> that sounds great. Um, yeah, we really like what you guys are doing and this, you know, the the firm uh, kind of guidelines you guys are sticking through in, in designing these games. So, thank you so much for showing us this, and we'll look forward. To it in the next couple of months. Yay, thank you for coming and checking it out. I really appreciate your support.